In this video tutorial we're going to show you how to choose the correct layout to suit your publication. Ensuring your publication is presented correctly on the screen with a digital fold in the correct place. We're going to be working within the content tab of the 3D issue software and in this tab the layout feature presents us with three options single page spread, double page spread and mixture of both. For the purpose of this training video, we're going to be working with two or three PDF documents with a variety of page layouts. On the screen now you can see the first PDF which has a single page layout. On the second PDF we have designed, it is a double page layout. Note the front and back cover are on the same first double page spread. Returning to the software you can see that something is wrong with the presentation of our publication. The reason is because we have imported a PDF with a single page layout and selected that it's a double page spread. Let's correct that now by choosing the single page layout for this single page document. Flicking through the document we can now see that the layout appears to be corrected. Let's now take a look at the double page spread. On the screen now you can see once again something is wrong. That's because this double page PDF document has been given the single page spread layout selection. When I open a double page we can see four pages on the screen instead of just the two. This is easily rectified choosing the correct layout for this type of PDF document. Let's show you how to do that now. There are times when you need a mixture of both. When you need a single page for the cover and all the inside pages should be double page spreads and then another single page is needed for the back cover. Let's take a look at this document. It's one of our marketing publications. The front and back covers are single pages but the inner leaves are double page spreads. When we import this document into the 3D issue software we just need to select mixture of both is our layout option. This will ensure the reader views the publication correctly on the screen. You must choose the correct layout to best suit your publications and you can also double check by using the on-screen arrows forward, backwards, right through the document to check everything's in order. So that concludes the module on changing the layout within your publication. 